If you had all the money in the world, what kind of house would you build? A penthouse in the world's tallest building overlooking the ocean, or a jungle retreat with stunning infinity pools? From Dubai to Los Angeles and everywhere in between, there are million, even billion dollar houses featuring everything from helipads to water parks. These homes have their own fitness centers, cinemas, and even private beaches to make them worth an enormous price tag. So, from party houses to palaces, join us on a tour of some of the world's most amazing homes. California Mega Mansion. There's a reason this Bel Air Mega Mansion earned the nickname Billionaire. At 924 Bel Air Road, luxury comes at the cost of, oh, only $94 million. Compare that to the averagely priced $4.7 million homes around it, and it's truly the best of the best. Originally the most expensive listing in the United States, this 21-bathroom home has 38,000 square feet of indoor living space and another 17,000 square feet of outdoor space. It features an 85-foot infinity pool, a 40-seat movie theater, a spa, a fitness center, five bars, and a four-lane bowling alley. You know, in case you get bored. And if you're tired, this massive candy wall is sure to wake you up. This house comes with a non-functional helipad, complete with a luxury helicopter, and this isn't the home's only nod to massive decor. There's a huge decorative camera that had to be lowered in via crane. This mansion also has huge televisions all over the place, even in the pool. The home is stocked with art, has a huge car gallery, and a penthouse office with a view of the helipad. You're also sure to spot a celebrity in the area with Jennifer Aniston and Beyonce and Jay-Z owning Bel Air Homes nearby. It's all about location. Two billion dollar home. This home is called Antalya and it's located in the inner city of Mumbai, India, near some of the city's most poverty-stricken slums. This two billion dollar home is owned by the richest man in India, petroleum tycoon Mukesh Ambani, who has a net worth of approximately 49 billion dollars. The 400,000 square foot home is a remarkable 27 stories and 568 feet or 173 meters tall. Let's compare that to the Statue of Liberty, which stands at a measly 310 feet, or 93 meters. A lot of thought went into designing this skyscraper. It's split into sections meant to mimic earth, water, fire, air, sound, and light. All of this space is packed with amenities. The home has a yoga and dance studio, a juice bar, and a lap pool to make sure the family stays fit. It also has a 168 vehicle multi-level car parking lot, three helipads, a 50-person movie theater, and a ballroom complete with crystal chandelier. And to handle India's heat, there's an ice room with a snow generator. Seems like a pretty nice place to chill, don't you think? But is this the most expensive residential property in the world? Technically, no. That would be Buckingham Palace, but we'll touch on that later. Beach Palace. The World Islands is an artificial collection of small islands off the coast of Dubai meant to serve as vacation homes for the world's wealthiest. On Sweden Island, there's a particularly fancy collection of villas. One will cost about AED 75 million, or just over 20 million US dollars. This beach palace has over 21,000 square feet of indoor space. The home's unique design draws inspiration from Swedish Viking vessels, with the roof meant to look like the upturned hull of a ship. And it's not called a beach palace for nothing. There's over 18,000 square feet of land outside, including access to your picturesque private beach. The five-level villa has seven bedrooms, an infinity pool and jacuzzi, cold and steam rooms, and its own marine plot, complete with a flourishing coral reef. Plus, if you're all about views, there's a huge lounge and rooftop terrace that looks over the sea in Dubai's iconic skyline. There's also a gym and spa, as well as a whole floor dedicated to a decked-out kitchen. Central Park Apartments. In New York City, it'll cost an average of $779,000 to buy a home, or for about $2,000 per month, you can rent a simple apartment. But would you rather live here or here? 2020 Central Park South is the tallest residential building in the world at 1,550 feet, or 472 meters tall with 79 floors. Residents can take advantage of the building's private dining rooms, entertainment spaces, an expansive athletic club and spa. Plus, there's a massive Nordstrom on the first seven floors. If you want to get out for a bit, it's only a five-minute walk to Carnegie Hall or to catch a show on Broadway. Walking an extra 10 minutes will bring you to the iconic Radio City Music Hall and Rockefeller Center. Ken Griffey is 
the lucky hedge fund manager who owns a gigantic $238 million penthouse in the building. It's 24,000 square feet of space and takes up the 50th to 53rd floors. It has 16 bedrooms, 17 bathrooms, five balconies, and a terrace with stunning views of Central Park. Now that's New York living. Monaco Mansion Monaco is known as the most expensive and wealthiest place in the world. In 2014, about 30% of the population was made up of millionaires, and it's mostly because residents don't have to pay income tax. Located at the very top of Monaco's 49-story Tour Odeon is the multi-level penthouse. It spans 33,000 square feet and has amazing 360-degree views. It includes six bedrooms and a water slide that takes you from the balcony right down to the infinity pool. With its incredible views of the ocean, it's no wonder this penthouse was valued at around $387 million. In fact, it's the most expensive penthouse in the world. When you're sick of the pool, you can relax on one of the building's private spas or catch a movie in the movie theater. The building also offers housekeeping and a valet service, which you can call using a touchscreen. And to get around Monaco, residents can feel free to hop into one of the building's chauffeured limousines. Austin Luxury Austin, Texas isn't really known for lavish greenery and sprawling jungles, but this luxury house wasn't taking no for an answer. In addition to being surrounded by breathtaking nature and plant life, this home has incorporated as many natural elements as possible into its design. 1404 Wildcat Hollow is home to an $8 million, 53,660 square foot home with four bedrooms, four bathrooms, two half baths, and an acre of land. This gorgeous house has a real oak flooring, Calcutta marble countertop, and cut stone pattern walls. The house cascades down a hill, offering the residents complete privacy while still being able to take in the amazing views. It also has a one-of-the-kind glass pool that looks natural when paired with all the lush greenery and picturesque trees. And of course, the back of the house is covered in windows to give residents a view of the breathtaking backyard. With all that space, the house is known for having amazing parties. It's been able to accommodate 350 guests comfortably. How do I get that invite? Fish House there's another nature-loving home in Singapore known as Fish House. This $6 million home might seem small in comparison to some of the other homes on our list, with 5,800 square feet of indoor space and 7,800 square feet of land, but this bungalow is truly innovative. It features a green roof with thin, bendable panels that supply the house with energy. It's also built so that there's natural ventilation throughout the home so that the owners can survive Singapore's hot climate. When the residents do want to get outside, there's a bunch of green roof space that's used as an outdoor lounge and with only one bedroom and two bathrooms, the home feels intimate yet spacious. One of the home's most breathtaking features is the submerged media room. It might be technically a basement, but it feels so open because it's surrounded by the huge saltwater pool. Swimmers can paddle their way in and out of the house at their own convenience. Water is very important here too with the roof meant to mimic the curvature of waves. Celine Dion's Water Park Mansion. Can you imagine having an entire water park in your own backyard? For world famous recording artist and My Heart Will Go On singer Celine Dion, imagination can easily become reality. Celine's $38 million water park mansion is unlike anything else on this list. The property sits at 5.7 acres of land with the ocean front and center. It even has its own private beach. The purpose of the home was to build a private vacation spot, so of course Celine included a 500,000 gallon outdoor water park. It has numerous pools, lazy rivers, and tons of water slides. But a water park isn't enough. The home has tennis courts and a tennis house, a beach house, guest houses, and pavilions so that Celine's guests are always comfortable. And the 10,000 square foot main house has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, multiple living areas, and a fully stocked chef's kitchen. Celine Dion doesn't actually own the home anymore, but we're sure the singer and her family had a lot of fun with it when she did. New York Estate. At 281 Daniels Dane in Sagaponic, New York, billionaire Ira Rennert owns an astonishing $200 million mansion that's on one of the largest estates in the entire U.S. This East Coast home is made up of many buildings. It has 110,000 square feet of space, 29 bedrooms, three dining rooms, three swimming pools, and 39 bathrooms. And of course, residents wouldn't want to be bored, so there's a 164-seat theater, a basketball court, fitness center, and two-lane bowling alley. The home is surrounded by forestry and sprawls across a 63-acre estate. It even has enough space for an industrial-strength helicopter. It's also rumored that Rennert created his own private museum on the property to showcase his massive art collection. And if that's not enough to ooh and awe about, the home is in close proximity to the Atlantic Ocean and has stunning views of the water. But would you prefer this house on the East Coast or West Coast? Let us know in the comments.
Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is well known, but you'd be surprised at just how ginormous this royal property is. Built in 1703, Buckingham Palace has a whopping 775 rooms and over 77,000 square meters of floor space. Art included, it's worth about $5 billion. There are 52 royal and guest bedrooms, 188 staff bedrooms, 78 bathrooms, and 92 offices. There's also a swimming pool, wine vaults, and even secret tunnels located under the building. The the palace has had lots of royal residents, including King George V and, of course, Queen Elizabeth. And the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge made the royal balcony famous again for modern audiences when they shared their post-wedding kiss there for all to see. Of course, the palace has some tight security. There are royal guards throughout the property who actually volunteer their services to the Queen. But has anyone ever bypassed the palace's strict security measures? <laughs> actually, yes. Michael Fagan broke into the Queen's bedroom in 1982. But don't try it. Security has only increased since then. So what's your favorite home on our list and which ones are just too over the top? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Riches for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.